beautiful voyage of discovery where do we begin right okay so um basically i'm just going to move on to the actual woodland this christmas patterns that i've already cut down to size that i like to use for my cracker and i'm just going to ink up the edges and do that a bit and then we come back to cracker but basically um if anyone is wondering the measurements obviously this is the uh, full width of the uh, a4 okay so that's what that's what i will be using and i won't be cutting anything down what i need for this um uh, for this panel yeah, it's seven and a half. Okay, this one is eight, nine and a half and seven and a half. Okay, it's as simple as that, right? Okay, so uh, very very quickly, and I'm using um, the uh, Pumis Stone uh, ink pad. We are so getting busier and busier for our crackers this morning. I'm not surprised. See a cracker? You can't have Christmas without a cracker, Amory. No, you can't. Um, to be honest, Nigel, what I tend to do with uh, these decorative crackers, I actually put them on my Christmas tree because mm, even even talking about mixed media yesterday with Janice, okay, I have this Christmas tree where there is a, a sort of widish gap in between the uh, layers. The branches. So yeah. I actually need something uh, substantial and a large and I think anything like um, you know um, a, a larger decoration like in mixed media like stars and bubbles that I had and uh, crackers that's what that's what really sits beautifully there but I just think they're kind of like ageless as well aren't they oh. I mean you can see from the crackers that we've got in the studio I mean they're just beautiful I mean you could give this cracker as a gift to you know a younger member of the family and a, a more not so young member of the family uh, and they just look divine there is an elegance about them and I think especially when you use Anna Marie um, embellishments and designs and berries and leaves and flowers and things like that the texture and the end look it looks so boutique and so expensive yes I mean we don't have to just use the Christmas cracker for Christmas because no. that could be an everyday cracker um, why not? Yeah, I exactly. Why not? Who says crackers um, are just for Christmas? Because on some of the crackers that I've actually used uh, our Garden Bloom um, collection paper pads and to create a Christmas cracker and basically the you know you can do that you, you could use a quarter of the stock has now gone on our crackers brand new for us today here at Great and Craft uh, we're only 40 minutes in and I'll be honest obviously this morning a few issues so it's uh, uh, proving a little bit more uh, it's not so speedy on the old um, payment front this morning but obviously already a quarter of the stock has gone that is showing how busy we are for these fabulous items so I would say if you want to get them before anybody else then pop them into your baskets now 179198 is that item number Right, so very quickly, and I will be moving on to the next bit. Love it, so giving it that lovely sort of aged look around the edge. Yes, it's nice to sort of close it off with, um, <coughs> you know, something that is framing my panel. Not that, uh, actually, uh, one, one layer, one side of the uh, shorter side, uh, will not be visible because that's where I will be um, sticking it down, basically. So, I would say you've got some vigorous um, edging there. Yes. It's like legit, you are shaking my crackers. <laughs> they are. It's like everyone in the counter, they're going like that. I'm like, don't fall down. Yes. All right. So, when I'm, uh, like now, I'm concentrating on my panel. So, I actually didn't ink up this side because this is where my tape is going to go. And obviously, I even rough up my edges on the, uh, on, on the panels for the cracker. So just to give that sort of depth, I am not roughing up this edge because that's where my tape is going to be uh, stuck on. I love your techniques. I'm going to say you've got a fan this morning in Sheffield. Penelope's emailed in to say she's loving uh, Anna Marie Design Hello, Show. Penelope. She always loves the techniques that you dish out. And Thank she's you. at home and she's not making cards, she's making crackers this year. Oh, that's fantastic. What a lovely idea. Yes, I think it is because, you know, obviously I'm decorating the cracker. Obviously, for the demo purpose, I'm not actually putting anything inside but the fan part is actually to think of the uh, nice gifts to actually pop it inside yeah I mean, it could be like a lottery ticket or something but I mean really nice crackers I mean these and nice isn't even the word for these these are exquisite crackers um, you know they're expensive if you went yeah. and bought one of these I mean you could go to those fancy garden centers buy a couple of these and it would they cost are you an very arm and a leg. I mean that is very true very true uh, but actually one thing we probably should add uh, with regards to these air crackers is the the fact that they are the real size of crackers yes, they so they're are. not mini they're actually large crackers just like you know 
you would see them in the and shop. 67p per cracker. Yeah. That's phenomenal value. And well, obviously you've got to add your accessories and stuff, your embellishments. But the fact is you've got the most beautiful sort of cracker shape ready to go for 67p. Right. Okay. What's next? What's next? Now, so we've got obviously flat pack uh, crackers and I've removed the elements. Now, what I tend to do with my cracker, I tend to stretch the fiber slightly. I tend to curve it slightly. Okay, now you could do it with a bone folder if you have one. However, what I tend to do, and of course everybody, every crafter out there will have their own preferences. Yes. But you see, this is what I like working on my um, working mat because that gives me that extra depth and the paper here is obviously soft in what I'm makes it a bit more spongy when you're that's working right it. Yeah. spongy it's the word exactly you can have that so, word, my lovely thank you <laughs> so basically I'm holding on to the middle bit first and all I'm doing is like I'm saying I'm stretching my middle fibers if you do want that orange working okay. mat paper that Anna Marie brings to us uh, you've got your a3 sheets there um, how many of those you get a hundred for 12.99 yeah. it's so useful I know I love the fact that whether you were crafting with it or using it for a function either way it's great value for money but my work surface is always clean you see yeah it's so true I love it honestly <laughs> you're the only person I know that does that and I think it's such a good idea yes yeah, so obviously I've got my cracker here and yes we're going to be um, now putting it together but I want for anyone who actually haven't used a uh, Christmas crackers yet you can see there are uh, two three tabs here okay and these are slightly cut into it I don't know if I can show you can you see it yeah. there you go so that's what you're getting on both sides okay so ultimately we need to pop these tabs okay inside a slot on the other side mm -hmm. so now okay so you will find your way when you get at home you will find your way obviously your, your own best way how to how to you know maneuver yeah well this is it <laughs> you know you, you, exactly the card is sturdy enough isn't it which is lovely absolutely because if you are let's say left-handed you will find a different way and obviously you know if even if it's if, even if your cracker is a little bit more uh, too rigid then obviously you, you just sort of you know you manipulate the card <laughs> to soften it exactly up. exactly um, no, I've got exactly the rustling of the pine codes. Oh. These are limited stock. Oh, brilliant. Limited stock. They They're literally amazing. down to single figures on this. If you would like to give you a little mini cup pine cones, I love these. Honestly, that again, Christmas, it just needs to be done. Put a couple of cinnamon sticks in there and away you go. Three yeah. little six, one, two, four is your item number on those. 539. Pop those into your basket because when they're gone, they're gone. I know, and obviously what I tend to do on them, I was at, uh, apply a little bit of ceramic effect or, nice. or modeling paste to just mm. give it an icy look. But anyway, back to my cracker. So you see, I've got my um, I've got my slot slightly open and a tab going in. And of course, anyone who's watching me who's already had uh, um, crackers, they will obviously they could skip this part <laughs> so they, are, they know exactly no, what to do. It's useful to see how it's done. And look, no glue required. No. Nope. No glue, and this is the best bit because you can actually do it on the plane. Well, not, well, uh, not really, but sold out the pine cones are gone. Right. If any bounce back, I'll let you know. So you see, this element here is flexible now. So again, even if you're going to go with your tab, okay? Because white on white, I hope you can see it. But so let me just enlarge my tab a little bit, okay? So again, with my notch, okay, I'm just one notch at the time. I'm popping it in, okay, sliding down and then bringing the other one and bringing it back up. There you go. Simple? It's simple. It is very, very simple. And now we're obviously um, um, doing the last one and the same principles applies. Okay, so pop the uh, notch in. Oh, we are getting busier okay. and busier for our crackers already. How much of the stock has gone now, Meg? Did we say 20? I can't okay. remember what I said actually. We said a quarter. We're now approaching a third of the stock being gone on the crackers. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, so let me just um, let me just say that what else we can do, and I may not actually do this on this particular uh, the cracker, but I wanted to show you that uh, this, this left uh, waste, not waste, but leftover, the negatives, mm. are ultimately my stencil. Yes, of course. Right? Yeah. So if I wanted to add, okay, if I wanted to add a pattern to my uh, mount right in the middle, let's say, or somewhere there, and I'm not actually going exactly precisely because this is just for the demo purpose, okay, you could just ink up, okay, and you're going to see this. Now, so one cracker, you can obviously <laughs> leave it as your template if you like. However, even if you make this mess and you use this side on the inside, nobody will see. This is true, it'll be yeah? hidden away. That's right. 
there you go so just very quickly showing you the extra benefit of having a Christmas cracker no but I think this is lovely I love a Christmas cracker there's nothing oh. more joyous is there than a Christmas cracker with your hat and the joke and all go. those but okay. I think these are lovely your decorative you crackers it? obviously I didn't apply much uh, much no, pressure and obviously around. I probably used to close ink pad but can you see it yeah you can see that smudge of color which well is I need to do this um, later okay Right, okay, so now what I'm doing is like this part where obviously I didn't ink up. I'm just going to apply double sided tape. And this is the strong one. And I'm actually applying this onto the uh, top, okay, because I want that part to. Mm. Do you think they here. have crackers all over the world, Anne Marie? Well, no. Do you think no, there are I certain countries where they don't have crackers? Yes. Definitely. So that's one of those things, isn't it? I don't know what the origin of. Do you know the origin of a cracker? No. I thought either. I'm going to get Meg to Google this to I find out where crackers started. I should have. I, I feel they started in Europe, but I don't know why. I think Germany, if anything. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. Some were sort of Teutonic, some were kind of like very. Yeah. I don't know. But we will find out it's going to be somewhere like Turkey. Because I think uh, when you think of Turkey, mm. okay, you think it comes from Turkey, but then it actually comes from America. We never know. We'll yeah. find out eventually. Yeah, something like that. But anyway, so I've got my flat, uh, three flat panels, and basically what I am going to do with these as well is stretch the fibres. Okay, it just they roll better, easier. Okay, and what I am going to be doing now is basically, um, you know, going with the flow of my. Now this is areas. using our fabulous card, of course, our fabulous. Um, Wood, uh, Woodland this Christmas, if you would like to go for those. We've got 36 or 220. I would go for the big boy if you can, because you get 12 designs uh, and you are going to get either three of each if you go for the 36 or 10 of each if you go for the 120. So details for the large one at the bottom, the smaller one at the side. Right, so basically, um, now the, the cracker ca can roll, obviously, because it's the round one, but you know, if you sit still, sit still. If it doesn't, just add something to the side if you wanted to. Okay, so basically what I am going to do, uh, now I'm going to do the middle part first. And now we need to remove the double-sided backing paper off that. Right, and onto my glue. So I am using the actual creative glue that we have on our website because it's really really super bondy uh, but you've got time to maneuver obviously and the other thing is that um, dries fairly quickly so you don't have to hang about kind of thing and one other thing I was going to say with regards to glue but it has escaped me okay now apparently one of the first crackers was was it 1792 there you go. 1792 in Massachusetts in oh, America. Oh, there you go, America. And, and I think they were used, were they used by sailors? They weren't actually Christmas things. They okay. were, it was for sailors to like make biscuits and sort of put food inside, I assume. Almost like a, well, like a little cracker lunchbox kind of vibe. Well, that would be nice. Who knew? Right, so can you see what I'm doing now, Nigel? Um, okay, I'm just rolling it all the way around my cracker so it's nice bendy this is my double-sided uh, tape sticky tape but obviously at, the, at this point all i want to do is just basically join my ends right okay so is it better to do it when the cracker is formed like this as opposed to doing it flat to be honest um again it's your personal preference yeah. it's your personal preference i mean i am adding a little bit of a super um the hot glue to the to the edges here uh, because obviously f I'm demoing and obviously we don't have that much time really yes. etc but you know it's what everybody will find their own ways of actually uh, decorating I mean again even if you join and make it with Anna Marie Designs Group and you go there and you go scroll down to all the crackers from a previous year yeah you will see I mean amazing work so Everybody just makes beauty. I mean, how can you not make a beautiful cracker? Well, they are stunning. They really are. Remember, a third of the stock has already gone busier and busier this morning. 179198 for your Christmas crackers. 67p per cracker. You can ink onto them, stamp onto them, paper onto them, embellish them. Uh, you can make them as flamboyant or as frugal, as festive or as non-festive as you like. Yeah. But I think, you know, who, who's to say you can't have, like, crackers for a wedding or something like that Absolutely. on the table just because you see a cracker it doesn't have to scream Christmas it is still a beautiful decorative thing I think obviously Christmas is uh, where they will probably come into play most but I think the idea of it depends on the papers that you use you could be using these all year round 
absolutely so I am just going for the middle really first of all okay I'm also leaving myself that little edge okay on the uh, on the edge of the cracker just to get, bring that whiteness into it as well okay and then the same thing what I did on the middle part okay we go for the uh, the one with the sticky tape first okay, okay. right can you see that sticky tape and now make sure that everything is nice and stuck on and you bring the other side to it. Okay. You can have some and wedding favours as well, couldn't they? Oh Pop yeah. wedding favours in. Absolutely. So that's what we have. But I know um, the double-sided tape, I, I, on, um, I only have three mil, okay? So it's not really the six or nine mil, so I'm adding the... Uh, uh, okay. Anne-Marie, <laughs> I've, got, I've got something to tell you. You know, I've just told you the, the origin of crackers. Yes. I, I think Mayor Massachusetts. Gar no, well, well, yes, but the wrong crackers. That's the crackers that you eat. Oh, right, of course. Okay. Meg, Meg, our producer, Googled the wrong cracker. There you <laughs> go. Thank you. But we, we found out about crackers for you. I did think that sounds weird. Uh, the Christmas cracker was invented by a London-based confectioner. Is that right? <sighs> In 1823, Gosh, you know, there I think you go. now something like that rings the bell. That makes more sense, I, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, makes more, much more sense. He was inspired by a trip to Paris where he discovered French bonbons, which is always good from a weekend away in Paris, uh, which were a sugared almond wrapped in a twist. And that's where the idea for your crackers came. Originally, they were wrapped in a twist of tissue paper. That makes more sense than sailors and their lunchbox. Do you know oh, what I mean? Definitely. It sounds a lot more posh. I know, I did think that sounds like really bizarre. I believed it, though. I really did believe it. I hang off everything Meg says. I believed it all. She could tell me <laughs> the sky was pink and I'd be like, all oh, right, OK. Right. OK, now we know. And now we can decorate one. OK, so there you go. Everything is joined up. Right. What, I do, what did I do wrong? I've just popped the... Uh, S uh, the side with the sticky tape <laughs> on top of it. But that's okay. A obviously. rookie error, we've all done it. That's right. That's fabulous. No, is, w do you know why is that? Because when you reverse the cracker, suddenly uh, it's the other side. Yes. And then that's you can okay. see a bit of hot glue just to hold it that's in it. place. Yeah. Illustration back to Anna Marie. Right, so briefly, very briefly, I just came back to the uh, stenciling effect, obviously, and I wanted to show you see what it should look like. Lovely. And this is a ceramic effect. However, I will be using um, to touch up and add a bit of a Christmas sparkle onto my projects. I will be using the 3D schnee, which is 3D snow in a bottle. Okay, and you can actually do a very similar thing with that. Okay, because obviously. Uh, it is a paste, it's a lovely paste, snowy, opaque, okay, and all I'm doing is just dragging this down. So do we have that on the show today? Yes, we do, yes. So if you do want to go for the snow in a bottle, what's it okay. called, my lovely? 3D snow in a bottle. And 3D look at that. snow in a bottle, okay. it should be on the website. There you go. So this is basically the stencil, uh, stenciling effect, and I am going to uh, add a little bit of snowy touch to my pine cones. So this Just is in lovely. case. Now, sadly, the pine cones have sold out, but don't forget, we had a whole host of other fabulous embellishments and things to add interest and dimension and texture and general sort of smile making to your projects um, on the website as well. So you can That's shop right. by brand for Anna Marie Designs um, okay. and check out all of those lovely items. Also, if right. you want further inspiration, don't forget to go to Anna Marie's Facebook page where you can find the community, and that is make making it. What was it? Make it with Anna Marie make Designs. Make it with Anna Marie Designs. Okay. So what I'm doing now, I've got two uh, strands of green ribbon and I'm just going to be literally going to add a little bow or knot to the side. So there you go, this is how easy this is. Okay, just as you're doing this, just uh, bearing in mind that you want, it, you want the bow, the knot to be actually at the top. Okay, and I'm just going to split through this bit. Okay. There you go, and it's just okay. beautiful. Thank you. Well, it is. I mean, there's something so. I mean, a Christmas cracker is always a joy, isn't it? But I do think when you have something that's so decorative, and you know, we always get. You know, there are certain decorations that you really look forward to getting down from the loft every year to put out, and I think mm. these are going to be, you know, up there. They're going to be definitely ones that you think, right? Where should we put the crackers? But to be honest, Nigel, what I like doing is actually I like making my crackers for, you know, anyone 
who is visiting me yes. that particular Christmas. Lovely idea. And then basically, it's like, wow, everybody will look at it. It's like, wow, you know, this is like well, so this unusual. This could be the packaging for your, I mean, if you want to put something inside, a little gift could go in there. It could be Absol like a, a lotion, a potion, a miniature bottle of something, whether it's crafty or alcoholic or whatever you fancy, really. That's right. It could pop in there. Oh, it's honestly, I love Christmas. Myself, I just love Christmas. Will you be okay. having a, a big Christmas this year? Will it be at home? Or? Oh, Nigel, to be honest, the logistics of it, I haven't even thought about <laughs> it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But yeah, we definitely will have someone over. Okay, so now I'm using, uh, I'm bringing my Pesto Arido uh, Adirondack ink pad to my fern. So this is the Pesto? Yep. It's a lovely sort of um, mm, shade color. to go with the uh, green colour of our, on our woodland this Christmas. But I am not even going to colour this solidly, okay? I'm just adding a little bit of colour here and there, keeping uh, some light through. Now I'm doing uh, exactly the same thing with my holly leaves, and this is where you see the impact of the uh, colour okay but i am doing the same thing not all over literally just an idea of a green now whilst you're coloring we've had an email in oh, from uh, this is from michelle who wanted to show us one of her crackers that she's made this is a non-festive cracker but i've got to say it's beautiful oh it's beautiful that's a wedding cracker right yeah that is amazing you see that i mean she didn't specify that it was a wedding one she said it's great for locations but i think you're right i mean the wedding the or heart, any, yeah any romantic occasion that's, that's gorgeous. right absolutely beautiful and there you go that just proves that proves the point how you know what kind of beautiful creations mm. uh, our customers make with them um, so. and, uh, michelle was saying she loves your show she loves um what you do and your design oh, so thank another you. anna marie fan thank you michelle thank you so much Okay, so I'm just. Oh, this is our mi mistletoe, the yep, brand this new. This is the mistletoe and yeah, berries dye selection that we it. have for you Although as well. On this project, because I used, uh, I'm going to show you the, the, the prototypes, so, so to speak, but I used the berries on the other one, so I'm slightly changing. I like to just change. To mix that, it up. Just yeah. so we've got 16 minutes left, okay. just so you know time wise. Okay, so basically back to my clean sheet. Lovely. Yeah, you need and your uh, matte, matte paper. <laughs> I do love it, honestly. Right. Um, Okay, so I'm just securing my cracker in place, and this is like important, so you don't want it to roll over and just kind of, you know. Right, so where do we start first? I mean, obviously, I've got uh, my uh, sprigs and holly leaves, and I've got my poinsettia already ma uh, made up um, using the uh, poinsettia dye. Now, one other thing that I do need to do is actually, oh, I've got to use a trellis stars and trellis um trellis stars and scalloped stars to the uh, to our arrangement i love these dies because i just think they are so celebratory i know i know and i think i launched this collection with you Nigel, yes, didn't we did. I? and basically um we did say that obviously each scallop die will give you a solid die yes yeah, so you can kind of mix and match that's the two right. together can't you so this is my solid die okay i'm just putting it together here obviously um I also want to use, okay, a trellis die, okay, trellis die, that can go, can, will sit directly onto that one. But you see, when you nest your stars, okay, when you nest them, just like um, with a nested butterfly, I suppose, you could create your frames, thinner or thicker, however you choose, okay? So let's say I go for the thinner one to actually finish that off and let's say I'm going to use um, uh, I don't want to use the green one but I have the red ink pad I think yes I have is it there it is festive berries lovely so I'm just gonna add a touch of touch of um, red to the frame alone just to the frame that I've got here so I'm just cleaning up my sponge really. I know but I love it you've <laughs> a very a very productive area yeah. here so there you go now I could and obviously I will uh, time permits add um, creative glue onto this frame and sprinkle my crushed ice onto it because then that would just kind of frame it and just really make it pop well I just think having a few of these is like the center of your Christmas dinner table as well yeah. 
I mean, you can imagine, I mean, we all have those crackers to pull. These aren't crackers to pull. These are crackers to look at and save a year after year after year or to give to friends with maybe a little Christmas gift inside. I know. It's entirely up to you. I mean, they are, they are functional crackers and the fact that you could put something inside. I mean, if you wanted to, I'm sure you can buy Cracker Bank somewhere if you wanted to, but these are too good to pull. You want yes. to keep these for a lifetime. Absolutely. So I've got all these elements and you see this part, uh, these two dies, obviously I can stick together, but I don't tend to stick everything like flat, 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 because at the moment all I'm going to do is attach my star to the base. All right. I like when even my star kind of pops and flows. Mm. So not everything is uh, flat. Okay. Now at the same time, obviously this frame will go uh, in the middle here as well okay so I think I just got a little bit of the glue no nope. see I don't think I've ever seen Anna Marie do a, uh, a an end product <laughs> that doesn't look very exciting but also you never do flat demos you always do <laughs> lots of embellishments and it's no. gorgeous and that's why everything is just okay just pops and flows okay so this is basically my I, I, I am seeing this part as my main sort of top up bit, yes. which now Focal I am got that's it, which now I am going to bring, okay, other elements to it. Okay, so obviously, all I'm doing now is just literally bringing my um, star onto like here. All right. So you can so you imagine as well if you had like a sort of Christmas dinner party or even for a wedding again. These could be almost like the name places for people. I mean, you could have someone's name on there and, you know, Anna Marie sits here, Nigel yeah. sits there, Alina sits there, Meg sits there, Chris sits there. It's like literally you could have all the names. Absolutely. That's the entire crew sorted That's, for you there. Yes, yes. Yes, okay, let me just, maybe I should just use an ink but here now. Okay, that's it. So we're seeing that. So we've got all these elements. Like I said, I'm just very quickly bending each uh, leaf from Here's my leaf. Thought. Yep. What about a 24 cracker advent calendar? Wow, that is an amazing Can you thought. Like every day you, you maybe like open one end and yes. you get the gift out from inside yes. it. Chocolate, a little crafty yes. gift. And then you pop it oh, back. Oh, I know, love it. I love it. Pop it back up. Oh, so I you've got your decoration cracker afterwards. I, I love like it. But I think you would really, really, really have to love someone <laughs> a lot. Well, we, we I mean, a lot. Person. Because I think, as yeah, 24 just to be pulled apart. Well, no, you'd, uh, you know, you'd, you'd take it from one end. Like, if you say you had a little bottle of, I don't know, a little bottle of glue or whatever your snow effect in there. Okay. And you have a little crafty gift every day. Imagine if you know a craft in your house that you love enough to do that for. I think great. I mean, for the kids, it's like, yeah, they'd want to pull the crackers. So give them the ones from the shops. But these, for your crafty friends, yeah. the ones that will treat it with the respect that it deserves. Yes, yeah, someone, actually, yes, yeah, someone yeah. who would appreciate it, yeah. really. I mean, yeah, that, that is a wonderful yeah. idea. Kids really want is. the, you know, they want the bang of the cracker and the, the joke inside, don't they? But it's like, I think, you know, if you want a cracker that is decorative as a, you know, a cracker that works as like a presentation gift almost. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I don't know if you're seeing me, but I'm actually um, using the natural fibre here as well. And obviously now I'm going to bring more uh, elements to it. But at this point, all I want to do is just stick my poinsettia just off my star. Okay. So this is my main feature now. Obviously, I've got this lovely bow in the center of my uh, in the center of my uh, poinsettia, and now my ferns. Right, so these are so delicate. I mean, it's just so beautiful. So now, for example, I would bring this one into my uh, star zone. <laughs> the star zone, I like that. Um, if you do want the uh, the little sprigs and the ferns and all of the other little okay. dyes that uh, Anne Marie is using, they're all on the website, of course, greatcraft.com. If you go to the show page for this one, you will find them all there. Uh, remember again, the only way to buy at the moment is, or the only way to pay, is to use PayPal. Uh, it's a good job we accept PayPal because literally everything else isn't working at the moment because of some we technological glitch. You, PayPal's, yeah, we did, yeah. which is good. And uh, th you can either have your break it into three payments, yeah, or you can, if you want to, pay for it all in one. It's entirely up to you. Yes, now we accept PayPal as well on our website. Right, so um, there you go. So my ferns are here. You can see, obviously, that delicate, 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 delicate thing just going. And my holly leaf is just going to be flowing here. Because I think ultimately when you make this cracker, I think you have to ask yourself a question. Which way uh, is your cracker going to be sitting, so to speak? 
okay and that way then you position obviously your elements uh, accordingly all right now so my cracker will be this way will be facing me and now I'm just going to bring a couple of uh, pine cones here okay and I think this is lovely I mean it's just giving me that you can imagine that Christmas sort of like Alpine Lodge vibes and just a cosy <laughs> in front of the fire at Christmas kind of vibe. Uh, there is something beautiful about this. It's very boutique-y with its look. Oh, do you know, I mean, I love crafting. I mean, Christmas, I pine cones, anything natural, I just absolutely love. This is it. No forest is safe with Anna Marie. <laughs> she will be there collecting up those pine cones, oh, no, twigs and not, branches and bits and pieces. It's not safe. It'll all go on a project, yeah. No. I'm just going to stipple that one a little <laughs> bit more and just pop it behind. Now, obviously, I'd, I wanted to show you as well that, you know, everybody crafts differently, but um, I did uh, fussy cut my poinsettia from actual woodland this Christmas because sometimes I like, I like having the uh, prints like that because you're making a, a sort of design like such mm. here and then you think, oh, something else could actually would work here so uh, obviously I haven't used it uh, on this particular project but I'm going to use my um, little s smaller star in the background just to match my star at the front okay and finally because obviously they're nested so you can see now this whole entire pattern of stars growing or building here okay and you've got the control to bring it underneath your embellishments if you like. There you go. So I just want to, okay, to show as little as possible. Now, I'm nearly done, I promise, promise, promise. All I want to show you is the, uh, the sparkle. So just like I said earlier on, now I can see that I don't have to apply the crushed ice onto, let's say, the whole uh, frame of nested right just to say nearly 40 percent of the stock has already gone on our crackers now busier and busier you can carry on ordering after the hour it okay, is anna marie's so last show today sadly yes yes and now i for am this show maybe get repeated in our sister channel craft extra uh, don't forget if you want to watch craft extra it is on sky 673 it's on freesat 817 you can watch it on youtube you can watch it on our website or if you watch us on freeview if you press the red button on your remote control that will take you through to the shows there um, dan's in charge of craft extra today he's over there 10 11 o'clock this morning so we'll be on now no he won't yeah he will uh, and then he'll be back at one o'clock and two o'clock this afternoon as well with more live shows and we have like our expert takeovers and things like that i know anna marie was on there yesterday weren't you yes yes i was and i think was dan's, great fun. dan's got miss bibby today i think over there okay i think um right okay so this Gorgeous. is my cracker done with nested uh, stars obviously poinsettia and you can see i think on this particular star i used all the elements they could possibly get out of those dies so you literally have um your trellis your scalloped the negative or the waste the solid mm -hmm. okay and then nested frames that you're creating yourself obviously my glue will dry so the red will be revealed a little bit more okay but this is um this is it I just think this it's stunning. I mean, literally that in the middle of a Christmas table or a few of those dotted on a Christmas tree. It just speaks volumes yeah. when it comes to looking really expensive. I mean, I could basically show you just very quickly, like, uh, well, I've got so many things to show you. But Please do. We've got uh, ooh, about five minutes left. Five minutes. Do you want to put one of the boxes together? Are they, yes, they that's, that's a very good idea. So um, Everything's now, on the websites. So do check all of the items on the show. But the box is very, very busy for Actually, these. now as, as I'm putting it together or I'm doing it, uh, may I just point out that no glue is needed for these either. No. Okay, because they are they are a quality boxes, really strong. Okay. They're and that perfect weight where they're, that's e they're it. easy to sort of manipulate, that's it. but they're still sturdy enough to keep that's their form. That's it, and no glue required. No. Okay, so this is the lead, right? Uh, the, uh, the lead that we have here. And right, you can see that each because they're all pre-scored. So I know in the flat pack when you receive it, you will see they are like creased lines here. And all you have to do is so, sort of fold them, bend them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the way I sort of always do it, I always do the inner creases first, like these, okay? Right, because they go like inside. Then you know, then you do know that obviously you need a wall, the panel, okay so this is my panel that it's basically going to go over the base so you 
folding it that way, okay? And then the actual tab backwards. Make sense? It does. Okay, so literally what I am getting is these kind of things, literally, okay? So the same thing, I mean, we've got the tabs on the longer parts. We've got the tabs here and the same thing applies. So there you go. All you have to end up with literally is a wool and the uh, tab here that will sit inside your box. So obviously this was already pre-creased, pre, pre, uh, pre well actually it was put together, <laughs> <all set together. laughs> but when you've done this kind of job, all, you, all, I, all I am doing, I mean you will probably find your uh, way of doing these boxes as well, these two tabs go in here first, okay, and then the shorter side sort of locks it. And it's such a nice okay. snug locked fit, isn't it? Oh yes, amazing. Okay, so the same thing, obviously, uh, with this part. These two tabs, they're long enough, you see, and that's also very important, but they're so very long, and they go inside, you close it, we have an, a lid. No glue, no tape needed. And the base All you have is to done do. exactly the same way? And the way. base is done exactly the same got way. got a minute and a half left. And the base is done exactly the same, you can see. So each time, each time, obviously, you've got this wool that is important, and the tab has to be inside. Okay, like so. So there you go. So I'm just literally closing that, closing that, closing that, and I'm gonna not gonna hide my cracker, but I'm gonna literally pop it like that. I think that's so cool. Okay, and um, that's your cracker. Ten of those. Five, four, seven, two, nine, eight is your item number. Um, let me show you some of the crackers. I bring crackers, crackers, just to show you how. Can I show the cracker that actually is with the woodland this Christmas? Yes, please do. Okay, so we've got that. I actually haven't added a message to it, but obviously that's a different pattern from the woodland this Christmas, and obviously slightly different vari variations. We've got the whole point setter covered in uh, cr crushed ice. We've got the th the Christmas uh, typewriter message here, and I've used the berries berry from mistletoe and berries uh, dice instead of the uh, mistletoe but that's uh, no, that's this is gorgeous but it just shows you whatever papers you have from the Anna Marie range as well these will work perfectly whether it be Christmassy non Christmassy you can be as frugal as flamboyant I mean everyone is absolutely gorgeous Anna Marie thank you I mean they are very enjoyable to make and that I think is the secret really um, when you enjoy making something, then you know everything else is easy. I feel like I should distribute <laughs> this to people. It would just make uh, people happy. Do you know uh, what actually, I mean? yeah, actually, that it's 